Your firmware update kit will come with all these parts. Now you will find inside the STM Link programmer there will be some extra parts. You won't need this, 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 this. What you will need, these two parts. The Olamex board. Olamex board plugs into the programmer. Little tab here, little slot here. Plugs in like that. Cable. Plugs in like this. And you'll need the serial cable. That's what you're really going to need to change the uh, firmware on your meter. So this is the meter that we're going to update. We're going to unscrew the top. Nice long threads here. Unscrew the top and then we will pop the display out. Flip it over. We will plug in our programmer into this little plug right here. plug our serial cable, two little tabs here, they go down towards the bottom of the board, plug that right in there, and then we will plug these into our computer. So you want to hook up your cables to your computer. You'll need your serial cable and your programmer. And then come into your firmware update icon. Click on that. Click on update transmitter. And it'll start the transmit, uh, the update process. The update process takes about three and a half minutes. Uh, it actually goes through and it shows you exactly what it's doing on each step. So we're coming close to the end of the update process. Uh, it's going to take between three, three and a half minutes, somewhere in there. Every meter is going to be just a little bit different, depending upon what it's doing uh, in the whatever t time it takes to do the uh, the update. Um, I mean, three minutes and 17, 18 seconds. Uh, once it gets to the end of the process, it'll tell us whether it has uh, properly updated the meter or whether it failed. So, update successful, where we've uh, successfully updated the meter. It will clearly tell you that the uh, update was not successful right up in here if it didn't. Now, if it doesn't uh, tell you that it was the update was successful, just simply do it again. Check your cables, make sure everything's hooked up, and do it again. So we can check the front of the transmitter and you'll have a forward total clearly written out if the, uh, if the update was correct. So that'll take us to the 0403 firmware. That's where we want to be. So now that we're updated, we're just going to come in here, disconnect the programmer, disconnect the serial cable, Put the transmitter back on, put the lid back on, screw it down and we're done. So if we wanted to update another meter, we can just do it right from this point and update from there.